dúvidas. Winnebago has some of the coolest Class B vans. They're very unique. This one has a pop-up roof with a sleeping compartment. Check that out. All right, so when you come in, you've got the ladder and you go up the ladder and that's a sleeping compartment up there. Then you have your seating here with a swivel dinette so two people can sit. This will actually sleep four people in a class B van. So two people sit up there when you're traveling. You've got seat belts here for two more. So you pop the kids up in the loft bed and mom and dad sleeps in the back. So this is actually the only family class B I think I've ever seen. That's pretty cool. Okay, so for your kitchen, you've got your refrigerator right here. Then coming in, you've got a two burner stove have a workspace that will slide out to give you extra counter space. Sink and lots of cabinet space. Cabinets down below as well. Okay. All right, so here's the wet bath and it's got a magnetic door so just pull on it and then it folds back. Then in your wet bath, you have your toilet and your shower all in one area. All right, so back here in this space, you got a nice couch here in the day, and then this folds down to a bed at night. Cabinets above, storage behind. It's actually a pretty functional Class B van. All right, this one is the Winnebago Travato. I'm a little fascinated with Class B vans, in case you can't tell. I, what I like about this one is number one, look at this awning. This is super cool. Love the awning. Big awning. Big awning, and then just take a look at that before I walk in it. It just feels inviting in there. It really does. Like, come on in, it feels very comfortable for a B. It does. Okay, so coming in. You've got your convection microwave, two burner cooktop, sink, but what's cool about this is this cover comes down like this. Usually you have to take your cover off and find a place to keep it. I like that the cover just flips up like that. Then you've got your fridge, very compact but very functional kitchen for a B van. Probably one of the most functional kitchens I've seen. All right, coming in here, you've got seating during the day. You know, you can just sit here, hang out, watch TV, or at night, you've got your two twin beds. I'm sure this will make into a king, but that's probably a real pain in the butt. I'd say if you're gonna do this one, you're gonna be comfortable, more comfortable just sleeping in the two separate beds. Lots of storage above too. And what's cool about these is they've got locking, so you close it, and you push that in and now that's locked so it's not going to come open while you're driving. But the best part about this one is the bathroom. It's still a wet bath but it's way better than some of the others. Come look at this. Alright, so this one has the bathroom in the back and to me this is the most functional. 
this is still a wet bath, but it's a bigger wet bath. I don't feel claustrophobic in here. It's got the toilet, it's got the shower, and then you have an actual closet. So most cl class B's do not have a closet. You just have to fit your clothes in a cabinet, but you have a real closet in here. Flush drawers, and if you want to shower in the great outdoors, you have a screen, or you just close the doors and you have a regular shower. All right, so I just heard a salesman say that the Winnebago Travato is the number one selling Class B, and I see why. It's the functionality of it. It's definitely our favorite. Yes, and come look back here from the back. You've got storage back here. Ah, I just really like this one. Oh, we might have to have us a second one. <laughs> Oh, and look, down here you can see, you couldn't see it from the inside, but there's a table. So it kind of snaps onto the wall, and then you put the table right there in between, and you have a dining table. That's cool. All right, this is a very unique Class B in the fact that this is an off-road vehicle. It's got big, massive tires. It's got a place in the back that you can put your bikes and your kayaks and whatever. This is for the outdoorsmen. We're not outdoorsmen, but we're gonna take a look at this because it's cool. This flips down so you've got, you know, pull up your camp chair and you can eat outside, have a little grill to cook outside. And it just snaps right back in. Let's go take a look inside. Here is your fridge. Let's see, there we go. There's your fridge. Super compact unit, but like I said, this is for the outdoorsman. Oh, Jason corrected me. He says he is an outdoorsman. <laughs> but you've got a little table inside too. Storage compartment up, up here. Here's your kitchen. You've got um, a sink right here. There's your stove top. And there's your stove top. Very compact and functional for a small unit like this. Yes. For a B. Yep. And then you've got this storage compartment here. Locks in. And let's see. And Elise's very favorite, the wet bath. That yes. she can't get open. Maybe it's locked? <laughs> no, that's locking it. There we go. There we go. It's like a it's like a closet door. Yeah, it's an accordion door. Accordion door. But yeah, here's your wet bath, so you've got your toilet. Little compartment right there to put your shampoos and stuff in. There's also a closet bar up here, so if you've got wet clothes that need to hang and drip dry, and then your shower. Okay. Close that back up. All right, in this area, here's your bed. So this is a hydraulic bed that comes down, so it gives you space back here to store all of those bikes, kayaks, whatever you're going to use in the great outdoors out here. And Elise is about five foot four, so... She's got to duck a little bit. Actually, right here I'm standing up straight. She's standing up straight. So <laughs> you do, that's kind of like your garage. It is. This is a, this is this a garage, garage back here. Okay. And then back here you can see how much space you have for your stuff. 
and there's an outdoor shower as well. And then you have a screen that zips down. So if, if it's really nice weather, you just leave these doors open, zip down your screen and sleep with the breeze coming in. Pretty cool little rig. And so this is the best price class B I've seen. Back there I said, but this one's ten thousand dollars cheaper. This one's seventy nine. It's another Thor sequence. Thank you. But it's got a different layout. And I actually like this layout. Go check it out. I like this layout because it's got the bathroom in the back, which gives you a bigger bathroom. And then you've got the during the day two seating areas, or at night you can just sleep like this, or you can put something right here that'll make this one big bed lots of storage and then back here same thing that we saw in the other one there's a closet in the bathroom it is a wet bath but this is one of the larger wet baths we see so this was very similar to the other one that we saw that was ten thousand dollars more so so far this is the best price class bath we've seen not bad i like it So what did you think about all these class B vans? Could you do van life? Could you survive a half bath? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think and which one was your favorite. And if you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all our new videos coming out. We post videos weekly. So if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button and follow along with us on all our new adventures. Until next time. See bye. ya.